What's up YouTube? It's Nick Legend Russ and today I'm here with a very special Switch unboxing as you can see here. I have two packages that just arrived from Amazon. I recently picked up a Nintendo Switch OLED and a screen protector. Now I don't know if I'm going to show the screen protector being put on in this video or, or if I'm going to do it in a separate video but I'm going to go ahead and just show off everything so yeah let's get into this unboxing. So first things off as you can see this is the um, packaging for the um, screen protector I picked up the evil ear I'm, I guess this is what it's called screen protector as you can see here it also comes with the yellow contraption, which um uses and goes over the switch as a like cover and then you put the screen protector on it like I said I'm probably I'm either gonna do it in a separate video or I'm just not gonna do it at all but here's just to show that I got a glass screen protector for the Nintendo switch only but out the way for that the main thing is here's my switch oled so i'm gonna go ahead and open it up and then see what we got so not only is this a switch oled but i picked one up from amazon global store uk so this is a uk model nintendo switch oled so the only difference that when you when i get to it you will see the only difference for the switch oled is is that um compared to the regular model that i got right here or even or better yet a switch light is is the oled glass paneling and not just the glass paneling but as you can see on the box the tabletop mode the kickstand is completely different as opposed to the normal flimsy kickstand on the nintendo switch TV mode is still the same. There ain't no different. There's no processor in the switch or anything. But handheld mode is definitely the biggest portion of it that's different because of the whole OLED screening. So everything is going to be more, much more vibrant. But I guess the only thing with TV mode I should bring up is the dock. But I'll show it off in just a sec. Um, it tells you here 7 inch OLED screen, 64 gigabyte system memory better than 32 but should be higher but yeah let's go ahead and get into this so let me see how you um open this sucker up so here we go here is the joy cons the white joy cons i got and then the oled tablet so let's go ahead and pull this up HDMI cable is still the same as in a normal switch as you would know not too long ago I did a video of me buying the Animal Crossing switch that I bought for my sister for graduation so same thing HDMI cable is the same as I mentioned before this is the UK adapter for this because I picked it up off of Amazon Global Store of UK I picked it up for 320 bucks as opposed to 350 so with taxes it would be about 350 as opposed to like 379 or 380 so unless you buy an adapter for this you can't really use it in the states but considering i have you know like four nintendo switches now five with this one i'm gonna just stick with this and if i really want to i'll buy another one or i'll buy an adapter so i'll let people tell me in the comments which one's probably better Slide this back over. There you go. You normally the Joy-Con grip. You normally put over the Joy-Cons. Usually is always the same. No difference with it. Here goes the Joy-Con straps for the um, Switch OLED right here. I'm gonna show them off in just a sec. And the main difference is the dock. Which I'm gonna show right here. Just kind of just put everything to the side. So here's the pure white switch OLED dock. The kickstand, or not the kickstand, but the um the back plate cover comes off completely to expose everything. So I got my sister's Animal Crossing Switch OLED dock, so as you can see here. And the size difference is about the same. There ain't any two noticeable differences. Like I said, the back plating comes off. The, the most, the big difference is, is that I believe it's on the side though, 
no, okay, no, it's not the side. These are about the same. So you still get that. You get the AC adapter, the HDMI out, but instead of um, another USB, yeah, I believe it's a USB, hold on. No, you, yeah, it's, you have a LAN adapter that you um, port that you can put in there as opposed to um, another um, HDMI out. That's what it is, I think. I, I, I can't be too sure, but um, yeah. Let's go ahead and get into the um, the main portion of this being the um, switch itself. So here goes the um, OLED screen right here. Now once I take it out, I'm gonna just go ahead and expose it to any germs in the air, any dust. Like I said, I'm gonna put the screen protector on probably after this. So here we go. That looks, that looks very beautiful, like very beautiful. There, there ain't no bezels anymore, as you can see there. So I'm gonna set that down. It has the normal instructions as usual. And then now I'm just pulling out is the Joy-Con. So here's the left white Joy-Con. And here's the right Joy-Con. Okay, and let's turn it on. So you can see the black is very noticeable. Like the colors are so vibrant on this. Yeah, the colors are so vibrant on this. And then, um, the like I said, so the main difference now. This is, um, as you can see here, here's the kickstand. Let me try to get it with my gloves. There we go, lift it up. This is where you would put the um, SD card at. So SD card, it stands as so, like this. Let me move this out the way real quick. I'm planning on thinking about maybe getting a satisfied grip for this at some point, but I'm gonna just see how everything goes. But, um, yep, let me just go ahead and set it up. Let me just skip to the, um, I'm not going to expose any, um, Wi-Fi settings right now, but, um, I'm going to skip it. And location, I'm going to skip real quick, but here we go. The date of this video, let's see. I'm gonna change all this later, but um, there we go. Later, he wants me to detach them real quick, so let's do that. Yeah, very easy to pull out. Uh, let me, yeah, there we go. Take this. Yep, hold the back button, release it. Wants me to detach the Joy-Cons, so that's what I'm gonna do real quick, as the instructions say, sorry. It says, use the left stick, press next. Okay. I'm gonna create a new user. We'll do Mario. We'll name myself one. Okay. I'm gonna slide the Joy-Cons back on this baby real quick. Skip, next, skip. All right, here goes the home button. Look how vibrant that is. I'm definitely gonna turn it to dark mode. And then there's like different settings you can do on the Nintendo Switch for um, TV mode. Let's see, like reduce, like here it is. Like you get like stuff like this, like reduce burn in, reduction. Let me turn that off. So like a color setting somewhere here. I can't remember exactly. Um, 
but yeah, I think I think for the most part that's everything I needed to show with this um Switch OLED. Let me go ahead and um I would dock it, but I don't want to scratch the screen before putting the um putting the um screen protector on. But with that, I'm gonna end the video out. So um like and subscribe guys, and as I always say, have a nice goddamn day. Goodbye.